first of the Petrine epistles in the New Testament begins like this. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to God's elect, exiles scattered throughout the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with his blood. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. What a beautiful establishment of audience in this opening paragraph and a really clear reminder of a truth that can only be received with awestruck humility. That an unlikely, ragamuffin, unqualified and undeserving bunch like you and me are the choice of our triune God, chosen by God the Father through the work of the Spirit to obey Jesus, Peter writes. Then a few verses down in the following chapter comes a really well-known verse you have probably heard many times, but may not have ingested the second half of it as much as the first half, which has made it onto a lot more bumper stickers. It's verse 9 of the second chapter of First Peter, and it reads like this. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. In the first half of that verse, Peter uses the phrase chosen people. He is re-emphasizing that the choice that he alluded to in the opening of his letter to the exiles, God's choice. But then he goes on to immediately talk about a choice that we now have in response to God's choice of us. What choice? <laughs> In case you didn't catch it, Peter says that we are chosen, God's special possession, that we may declare the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his light. It doesn't say that we will, it says we may. In response to such a mercy, the reality is that some who may will not, but many who may, like the psalmist, will. Psalm 145, I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. So what will my choice be? I may, and so I will.